I read a very interesting and moving article in Saturday's Democrat and Chronicle. It was on the front page. Told the story of a man and a woman. He, 51, she, 48, who had not had any contact in nearly 34 years. Their last meeting was a near tragic one. In the rain, on Chestnut Ridge Road in Chilai. The young man, Peter Caffarelli, was 17 and had borrowed the family car to go to the Greece hockey rink. Anita Larocque, 14 at the time, was struck by Caffarelli's vehicle, causing permanent physical damage. What is striking to me about the story is the aftermath. Anita Larocque, now a Hilton resident, took the time to find and contact Caffarelli and to ask him to meet her and her family. In the DNC article, its author, Mark Hare, states, Now, nearly 34 years after that night, his, Caffarelli's, burden has been lifted, or at least eased. Forgiveness is a tonic for the soul. Fortunately, not all of us will have such a big burden to carry, but we all will violate other people, and we will need their forgiveness. We can't make anyone forgive us for doing thoughtless or cruel acts. Remember, though, what a gift we can give by forgiving others. If you take a step like Anita Larock and forgive the person who has wronged you, you'll find out what a great gift you've given yourself. This is Mr. Nixon with a little something to think about.